Welcome to Sight Reading for Guitar, Exercise 1, as we are going to begin our sight reading journey in the first position. Now, what I mean by first position are all the notes covered within the first four frets of the guitar neck, and those are going to correlate with fingers 1, 2, 3, and 4 in the fretting hand. We're not going to worry so much about fretting notes in this lesson, but we are going to focus on the little E string. And that's the string closest to the floor. We call it the first string. And hopefully by now you've studied the introduction. And if you have, you know that the fourth space on the musical staff is an E. And that's the note we're studying. So this open E string is the fourth space on the musical staff. And you'll be getting a heavy dose of those E notes in exercise one. So the main challenge is not so much reading notes as it is counting the rhythms on the page. So you need to have a firm understanding of what the time signature is, what the measure is, and you need to know how to count quarter notes and eighth notes within 4-4 time signature. All that's been covered in level 18 in beginner one. And it's my recommendation that you study the first 20 levels in beginner one before moving into the sight reading course. And if you do that, this is gonna be pretty easy to take on. Okay, well, it's time to begin. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the introduction page for the first E string, you will notice these nine points. And these nine points are the prep work that you're gonna do before playing a single note. Now think of it as a checklist of things to do before tackling a piece of music. By analyzing a piece of music using these nine points, you're gonna learn how to read much, much faster. It's gonna make you a lot more efficient by breaking down the piece into its essential parts. Uh, not all nine points are going to be relevant. I will make you aware of those relevant points as we make our way through the sight reading course. Now, exercise one is an open string exercise. And for that reason, we're going to skip points one and two since those have to deal with fretted notes. And that brings us to point number three. And that is if you are a flat picker to alternate using down and up strokes. Don't get in the habit of playing all downstrokes. I want you to work on maximum efficiency by alternate picking. And if you are a classical guitarist or flamenco guitar player, to alternate your index and middle finger using free or rest strokes. Now, whatever style you choose is up to you and your teacher. But the main thing is, if you are a flat picker, to alternate with down and up strokes. And if you are a finger style picker, to alternate using your index and middle finger. Point number four is all about the rhythm. So you'll need to print out the music, get out a pencil, and you are going to count the rhythms on the page with your voice as you tap counts one, two, three, and four with the pencil. Now you'll notice that each measure has four counts, and that's because the top number in 4-4 four, four time signature tells us that each measure gets four counts. All this is a review from level 18 in beginner one. And by now you should know that a quarter note gets a count and an eighth note gets half of a count. So we can fit up to two eighth notes within the count. You will say the count on the eighth note and then you will use the and syllable on the upbeat. So you will say two and when you get to the eighth note. So a demonstration for this measure will be one, two, and three, four. I'm going to count with you in measures one through eight and then you're on your own. Now in the first four measures, I've written in the syllables above the note heads. And if you wanna continue that in the remaining measures, there's nothing wrong with that. That is not cheating. So for example, in measure six, you can put a number one above the first quarter note. And then on these two eighth notes, you can write two and. And then on this quarter note, you can put a number three. And then over these two eighth notes here, you can write in four and. If that helps your reading, then there's no problem with that. That is not cheating. I do it all the time and it helps my reading a whole lot. I have the metronome set for 60 beats per minute. If this is too fast, you can always slow me down on the media player. I'll give a four count and we'll begin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two and three, four. One, two and three, four. One, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one and two 
and three, four and one, and two and three, four and. Points five, six, and seven are focused on note identification. And since we're only playing one note, we're gonna skip on into point number eight. And that's counting and playing at the same time. So get out your guitar and get out your music. I will demonstrate with you from um, measures one through eight, and then you're on your own. And basically what you're doing is you're taking what you did in point four and you're applying it to your guitar. So you're gonna count the rhythms on the page with your voice as you play the notes on the guitar. Don't forget to alternate. If you're a flat picker, make sure you use down and up strokes. And if you're a flamenco or classical guitarist, to alternate your index and middle fingers. Once again, I'm playing along with you from measures one to eight, and then by then I feel like you should be able to take on the rest by yourself. I'll give a four count and we'll begin. One, two, three, four. One. And finally, point number nine, and that's training your eyes to look ahead of the note that you're playing. It's a very important skill that you're gonna develop over time, but I wanna make you aware of it early on. So as you're looking at a piece of music, when you play a quarter note, that's a pretty slow note. So it gives you time to scan the page to decode these fast eighth notes in advance. So don't get stuck looking at this quarter note only to be surprised when you see two notes happening on count two. Go ahead and play the quarter note, but as you're doing that, scan the page and try to decode count two before you even play it. That's gonna make you much more fluid in your sight reading. You're already doing this when you read out loud a book or a newspaper. So you're looking at a word, you say the word, but your eyes are looking ahead to the next word. And so it's a very important skill in your sight reading. It's gonna make you much more efficient sight reader.